okay we have our account created on github now we want to see what does it mean to download or get something for our repository how can we add stuff to it and get stuff out of it uh, there are certain terminologies that we need to understand let me just bring uh, a notepad up and write the thing uh, terminologies over here so there are a few things that you can do to the to your repository when a, rep a repository is created on github is essentially a git repository and um, this git, git repository can be uh, downloaded uploaded them to be used in different places and then um, uh, the changes can be synced between different computers so you can have your work anywhere you want now how it's done yeah, the, the, the terminology that we use is this uh, things that you need to know at this moment right when you want to begin is uh, a cloning which is essentially means an initial download of the repository uh, the next thing that you can do uh, with a repository so when you're cloning you are essentially you mean that cloning a repository means you are getting a copy of your git repository on github on a local computer at home at work or wherever you want so that's cloning so uh, essentially we can call it download okay um, download a copy let's put it uh, or a full copy we can call it the next thing that is uh, uh, good to understand what does it mean is pulling when you call pull it means download changes to my local repository okay so whenever you do a pull action it means you have something on github that you for example added at school now you come to home you want to get the things that are changed into the uh, github repository you want to bring your changes to your computer at home so you can computer you can continue to work this is called pulling you are pulling the changes after pulling when you are working on your local computer when you are working on your local computer uh, you can start um, after cloning and pulling the changes uh, you're gonna have a copy of the repository on github on your local computer you can start working on it and make changes do development whatever you are doing after you are done you can save those changes in to your um, local repository by saving it means you are actually telling to the git application that I want these changes to be added to my local repository this action is called commit so commit is essentially saving changes to the local repo okay but before about uh, so commit essentially saves the updates to already existing files to your repository that's called but I call it commit we could like it's called commit there is another thing called add so when you add this is to add new files to your local repository so after each add there is always a commit is needed if you want that those files that you added to actually be saved so I'm gonna bring the commit down over here so after adding so it not only changes uh, saves changes to the local repo but also adds and or adds new files to the repo repo is an abbreviation for repository so when I say repo that's what it means and the final thing that we need to know down to this point is called push push essentially means upload ch 
changes to uh, the master which is essentially in our case is github okay so you clone your repos clone the repository for example the work that we have done in op244 we clone it on a local machine um, and we, we start working on it and after the work is done we commit our changes to the local repository and when we are done we push those things up to github so all the changes we have done in the local repository will go to github now we go to school we want to continue working on our on our uh, program we sit on one of the local computers or lab computers at school then we clone the repository on github on a local computer at school we start working on it at whatever we want we commit the changes and we push so everything will go up to the github repository now if we go back home we will see that the repository that we have at home does not have the changes that we made at school so that's the time that you do a pull when you do pull it means bring the files the changes that are made to the repository from github and apply it to the current current repository and you can do this back and forth everywhere um, of course uh, there are many 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 more things that can be done to a repository but these are just basic things that I'm starting with and I don't want to go more than this so for doing this we need to understand how to clone stuff and put it on our local repository now that we created the repository over here in op244 let's say I want to bring it down to my machine if I want to do that I'll go somewhere in my machine so I'm gonna go to documents op244 um, actually I think I wanna there we go so I'm gonna go to documents uh, let's delete that okay all right now let's say I want to get a copy of the op244 repository that I have on github on the local machine if I want to do that then what I need to do is to clone it to clone it I click I go to the um, uh, I log into to github after logging to github I'll go to my uh, to the repository to my repository so as soon as you click over here it goes to your uh, profile page you click on repositories it shows the list of the repository you click on op244 now you are inside the repository with all the things that you have now I'm gonna say over here clone or download so I'm gonna click over here now if you say download zip then it's a download you cannot apply the changes back to the repository it's just a regular download but if you want to clone it you can actually click on this icon over here and after clicking over here it will copy this into clipboard or alternatively you can right click over here and click on copy so you first copy the path to your repository then you come to your local computer because we installed Taurus git I can right click over here and say, and click on git clone this is Taurus git actually by doing that automatically what I copied as a URL will be pasted into the dialog box of git clone if I click on OK now it will it wants to actually clone it but it needs to know the user ID and password to github so I have to type over here my user ID and password and then password login and now it will get all the changes over uh, uh, bring uh, and make this uh, a clone of the repository if you see this has exactly what the repository over here has so if I click on git ignore I can see that these are the values for git ignore over here let's say this is not good for me I want to have additional things over here inside this uh, repository if that's the case 
if that's the case and I want to make those changes what I need to do is go to my local repository over here right click over here and say open for example with notepad so this is the git ignore that I have and let's say I want to add what I need to uh, ignore with visual for visual studio in here so what I will do I'm gonna go over here and say add those values so I'm essentially telling to git when a commit is happening ignore anything that has an extension SDF user SEO whatever ignore all the directories that call debug ignore all the directories that call IBC edge uh, x64 or dot vs so uh, I'm adding this to my dot ignore and then save it so as you see in my local repository this get ignore is changed now because it is changed um, I need to now commit the changes to the repository that I have so I'm gonna uh, let me see if I can actually because I did not reboot it my machine there are no icons over here they're actually uh, when you change something the git actually shows you that something has changed so I'm gonna pause this uh, reboot my machine so the changes take take effect after installing git and then we'll continue okay now that the machine is rebooted as you see op244 has a red icon over here that it with an exclamation mark so readme dot uh, readme md is not changed that's why it has a dash over uh, a check mark git ignore is the one that I changed and it had it has that red exclamation mark it means this is changed that the changes for this are not committed to the repository so let's change this readme so I'm gonna say I'm gonna edit this so um, right click and I want to open this open with let's say notepad more apps notepad there you go so this read me is a mark now so I'm gonna say op244 and I'm gonna say my op244 material for fall of 2019 so I'm changing this to and I'm saving it file save now if you look at it readme is has that one too now I'm gonna highlight these two or alternatively you can go back and right click on the whole repository and say and click on git commit it means I want to save the changes into the repository so it actually repository will consider these things change so in next push it's gonna send the uh, values up to the master so, and I'm gonna say over here um, added visual studio dot uh, get ignore values that's a comment so later on I'll, I'll know what was changed what was the nature of this commit I'm gonna click on commit and now that is committed I can push it if I don't push it and I close this you will see now everything is green but the changes are not sent to the master it is just saved on my local machine not on github if I look at github you will see that git ignore does not have the values for visual studio or the readme doesn't have the description of what op244 is now I'm gonna go over here and right click on the repository and go toward this git push pushing means to upload everything right up to master and I'm gonna click on OK again because it wants to actually put the stuff up so it actually said success and pass, pass the information up to the repository and we are officially done now if I go back over here and refresh the repository you will see that it says my op244 material and the same thing over here for um, dot gate ignore that has the updated material that I had now if I want to add something else over here I can do that too and I can uh, add new files to here and then trace those files to whatever I want to do so this was uh, 
how to uh, uh, create uh, account on GitHub and how to be able to push and pull the values inside uh, uh, into the a GitHub repository and down to a local computer. There is one thing that you need to know before we end this video is that uh, the action that I have done that was cloning was done using HTTPS. That's why it asked for a user ID and password. The next step in next video I'm going to show you how to create an SSH key. An SSH key is essentially a secret that you share between you and GitHub. You create a secret. If you carry this key with you anywhere, you don't need to remember any user ID or password anymore. All you need to do is to tell to Git in cloning to load the key and when it's done it matches the two keys and everything uh, is uh, cleared and then you can uh, put uh, upload and download anything you want um, over uh, a repository. Uh, the exact same thing cloning that I have done I can do it in different machines for example I can log into matrix and uh, clone the repository on matrix and that's the next thing that I'm going to talk about in uh, uh, next videos that are coming up. Thanks for watching.